Welcome back to Viking Football with Bruce Barnum. Another great week of Viking football. Lots of excitement here on the park blocks as the Vikings prepare to play Montana State this Saturday at Providence Park. And we're with Coach Bruce Barnum, and we're going to review a little bit of last week's exciting win at North Texas, 66-7. I think I said it on the radio. At some point in the middle of the game, it was just indescribable what was going on. Have you, have you ever had all the parts fit together as perfectly as they did last Saturday at North Texas in, in really a resounding victory? I'm not sure, Mike, because you're right. Uh, it was all three phases of the game. The sideline, something went wrong. I, I hear a football team coming out the field laughing, having fun, actually playing the game of football uh, instead of worrying about the score or worrying about that penalty. That was neat, and it equal. you saw it. Uh, there were mistakes on film, but what you saw, the production and the scoring and the stops and the punts, everything, you're like, okay, this is how it's split. It was a clinic tape. Now, that's kudos to our guys. Uh, we had a plan. I like what the coaches put together. They went out and executed it, and it was fun to watch. And another thing, a little bit behind the scenes, uh, there was some drama prior to the game. Portland State couldn't get to the game. Half the team left behind at the hotel, including the head coach, including one of the broadcasters who's talking right now. Uh, and that kind of throws everybody's pregame routine out of whack and showing up late at the stadium. There was a bus breakdown. Uh, but the thing I noticed about you, no reaction at all. And then, because of that, the team, no reaction at all. Didn't bother them, didn't phase them. They really handled that. We talk about handling adversity. There's another great example of handling adversity. They, I, I liked how they reacted. Um, it was, it's all in a presentation, Mike, uh, whatever you're doing in life. And, and I had to get the group together. And we ended the meetings a little early because we we're going to have to shuttle because we we're about 20, 30 minutes away. And I had to choose who got to go. <laughs> and that, you know, we made fun with that. The group that stayed, uh, we sat around and uh, we actually had some fun. How uh, we were left in the water and the sharks were starting to swarm, but we got there. Uh, there were some issues when I got there. The rest were wondering where, who, where the head coach was. The head coach wanted to meet me, he couldn't find me. So, But uh, we got there by game time and they were warmed up and ready to go. And the great reward, you, you had to leave behind some guys who were a little lower on the depth chart, unfortunately, but that's the reality of college football. But the great reward is one of those guys down at the bottom of the depth chart, got into the football game and had a 68-yard touchdown run. How rewarding was that for him, for the team? I know there was a celebration penalty, and you said that's a celebration penalty we'll take. It was. Uh, Mitch Thompson, who is uh, he's as much a part of this football team as, as a starter, as, as a guy who wants to join us next year, and he got a touchdown, Conference USA. He broke three tackles. It was a beautiful run. I'm um, on a draw, and I did. I walked down the other end, Mike, because I was watching. They have big old boards down there uh, to watch on all over. There's like 16 big boards to watch the replay of the game. And I was watching it, and a coach came running up. Coach Barnes, because penalties aren't accepted around here. Uh, we don't want penalties. We don't want to turn the football over. And somebody said, Mitch got a penalty. Celebration. And I kind of winked at him and smiled and said, all right, we're good. We're good. I'll take that one. Okay, and let's talk a little more about the offense. You you said early in the week we got to open things up a little bit after that loss to North Dakota, and open it up you did. And I think Alex Caressa probably answered a few questions about his ability to throw the football down the field, but season highs in rushing and passing both. A few gadget plays here and there, but uh, really wide open on offense, just like you were hoping to see. The staff put together a great plan. We had to, he's a first year guy in our system. And I think we're, we as coaches were expecting too much out of him. So uh, we simplified a few things. We made a few things you know, easier all around. Uh, and they paid off. And you saw the production uh, go up uh, because we gave him a better chance as coaches. And now on the defensive side, holding uh, Conference USA team under 200 yards, kept him out of the end zone until the final minute of the game. Seven three and outs, a couple of forced fumbles, a couple stops on fourth down, uh, all in all sound defensive effort too. And they're why we're winning. Defense wins championships, Mike, and in that group, uh, I used to say just they're tough. I knew they were tough out there playing from game one, but now we have a tough football team. Um, they've kind of taken it from the defense. They, they've led us into that mindset, so um, fun to watch. Uh, they did what I expected and a little bit more. Uh, we had, you know, Aaron Sibley was down um, that game. He'll be back with us this game, but um, he was down, and the next guy was up, and he joined into the unit. 
It didn't matter if one guy was down, and that's cool. That's cool with what's going on in the defense. Okay, now we look ahead to Montana State. Really talented football team, ranked 16th in the nation, and they're led by a guy who I picked as the preseason player of the year, and he's proving to be that good. He's leading the Big Sky Conference in total offense. That's Dakota Prukop, the quarterback at Montana State. That's got to be uh, right in the center of your game plan, how you're going to stop him. Uh, I, nobody can stop him. South Dakota, North Dakota, that, that kid is uh, the real deal. I met him down there when we went down there, Mike, and um, he's got great help, and he's running the system, and he's leading their, their team right now, I'm sure, because offensively they're lighting it up. Nobody can stop him, and everybody's trying to you know find a weakness. But with him, there is none. He's big. He looked like a quarterback down there. And then, well, you know, you look at our guy. You set him up against Dakota. We look like the drowned rat of NCAA, but Dakota looks like, you know, Bart Starr. He, he's a real dude. But good for him. Good for the conference uh, to be able to get talent like that. And we're excited. Our defense is excited to see him and maybe get some autographs before we start the game. <laughs> That's a great reference, Bart Starr. I know who Bart Starr is. I'm not sure everybody watching here, but you're 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 dating yourself. But that that's all right. Uh, okay, now talk about you know how the Vikings are going to handle a program with a tremendous amount of tradition. Probably going to bring a lot of fans to the game. This is a big game. They're all big, but this is a big game in the Big Sky Conference. Probably the game of the week. Two top 20 teams. It is. Uh, we're excited, uh, and honestly, the the past mantra around here with Montana State you know they're they're worried about the Grizz uh, they're, uh, I'm not sure even now if they're worried about Portland State just because of, of history of the conference and what they've done to this university on the football field for many moons but um, what I do I, I think we've lost that game a lot Mike before we got to game day in the past that's the one thing I'll promise you win or lose um, our guys are going to come they're going to fight for 60 minutes and try to get a W against that squad so it's all about preparation this week. You know, you just finished. It's Tuesday. You just finished practice. Uh, a really solid week of preparation. Is that the emphasis to your players? It is. Um, us, um, the, the little things we talk about. Uh, and, again, from the locker room to turn your stuff in, to coming back and doing the right thing on and off the football field, making sure you're in school. Um, that, those little things have got us to where we're at out here. Uh, I feel strongly about that. But... We are. We're, we're going to tweak a few things, but we'll be in the right spot. We're going to play fast uh, and see what happens after 60 minutes. All right. Thanks, Coach. And we remind you fans, this week, Friday, Old Spaghetti Factory, Coach's Luncheon. Coach Barnum will be there. We'll have a Viking football player along. Come on down to the luncheon. RSVP if you can. Go to GoVikes.com. Also, lots of pregame excitement at the stadium. You can find out about that at GoVikes.com. 12.30 kickoff, a little bit earlier kickoff this week. The game also televised on Root Sports. You can hear it on Rip City Radio in Portland. And come and cheer the Vikings to victory.